three Pete is everything but eminent. Oh, at this oh. Point. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Cheeks three Pete is. Hey, future bet right now. Future right now. Hey, I told all y'all catch Chiefs money line. Everybody was talking all that. Shit. Who the f saying y'all? The comments. No, I'm about to say. F I, I told y'all Chiefs money line before the you season did. started. I, okay. double, I doubled down. What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room, Taylor Swift edition. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. The Swifty edition, episode seventy. Before we say anything, I've got something. Matt, so I have received a gift for me and you. If you guys don't know, I don't know why I'm holding my arms up still. <laughs> I'm going to lower them. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my I hands. Don't do, I don't do ours. So as you guys know, me and Matt are Swifties. Oh, my God. Okay. And I received <laughs> what? something. I'm going to put mine on first. And I'm going to give you yours. But we tried to tell everybody about the number 13. We tried to tell everybody about Taylor Swift <laughs> and how Yo. it was real. And nobody wanted to believe us. Brock Purdy's number 13. <laughs> Glock Brock. Oh, big Cock Brock. The other. Brock. Big Cock Brock's 13. How's Taylor taste now? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Taylor oh, taste. Shout out to the Swifty gang. I am a proud Swifty. Shout out to my daughter, my three-year-old daughter, who is a Swifty. She has no problem telling you she's obsessed with her. And guess what? Dad's a proud Swifty with her. All right, I ain't feeling That's 13 crazy. today, but I am feeling 22. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm feeling 22 today. How you guys feeling? Feel like, good. <laughs> Are you I, guys Swifties or what? Damn, I'm kinda, boy. I think I'm kind of jealous. I wish I got gifted one of those. Are we Swifties or what? I, I want to shout. I want to shout out. Dang, we you should have bought in, bro. I want to shout out who we got these from too, because this is a local place. Um, shout out to Sister Sisters Creations LLC and uh, Derek by Your Face. They are not African American. That's. The, what? <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna cut that part out for the video because if we post it with the shout out in it, I want them to be able to repost it. So let's redo that real quick. Shout out to Sister. Sister Sisters Creations LLC, Sister Sisters Creations LLC on Facebook and Instagram. We'll post a little at in the videos and everything. So if you guys want to purchase shout some custom stuff, shout out to them. They are locals. We are in Ohio, everybody. They are locals they to ship? Ohio. Uh, they do ship. So there you go. I'm going to be honest. I actually don't know. Okay. I just you signed just them up, up for shipping. You just signed them up for shipping. <laughs> you just Boys. expanded their business. I did. You're welcome. All right. Where are we going? All right, where, where the fuck do you think we're going, brother? Guys, we got to talk about Taylor, I guess. The where the fuck do you think we're going? The beloved Swift. The Super Bowl, motherfucker. Talk about hey. it. Hey, all right. 13. <laughs> I just need to apologize off the rip. I said it in the comments numerous times. It wasn't her album that was called 13. I messed up. It's her lucky number. I'm sorry. It's her lucky number. She was born on the 13th. All that other stuff. She won 13 Grammys, blah, blah, blah. Oh, before you go, can I say something real quick? Hurry up. Real quick. It'll be real quick. And uh, to every hater in the comment talking about uh, we're content stealing. We stole this from Taylor Lewan, busting with the boys, this, that, and the other. I'm going to be honest. Didn't see their video before we did this. Neither did I. And none of us seen it. <laughs> like we, I didn't see it I'm either. I'm not going to sit here and act like we don't know who busting with the boys are because we do. Oh, but yeah, None for of sure. us seen the video. And... After the research we did and found the People Magazine article, that's why we did our video. I don't think Taylor Lewan invented all of these coincidences either. I think he no 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 he saw the article. I'm guessing he's seen what? the same article because when you do podcasting and journalism, because we are journalists, I have a degree in journalism. Me and Derek, shout out to YSU. <laughs> okay, it's crazy. Bro, I'm like allowed to, to tell my own story. <laughs> he went oh, to you went Kent. to Kent. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I went to YSU, sorry. Um, what the fuck? That was when I transferred out of Kentucky after my injury. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, though. Don't kick the camera, bro. Did I kick it? Yeah. Good? Is it still good? All right. Did it rattle? All right, cool. It wasn't on me, so I think you're good, but yeah. All right. Do your thing, 21. So listen. Or should I say do your thing, 13? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so 13 showed up in the Super Bowl. The game-winning play, 
first and goal from the three. One and three. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. The game, the game winning drive. The game winning drive was 13 plays. And guess what the total was at halftime? <laughs> I'm getting there, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> the game winning drive was 13 plays. That's insane. It was 10 to 3 at halftime. 13. We had someone counting. They showed Taylor Swift 13 times. Can I can I shout him out real quick so Go he gets ahead. his proper his proper credit? Uh shout out to Charles Shiler, C Shiler 97. Uh he sent us a message with a Taylor Swift counter, and he did indeed count 13 times. And he said, Yo, <laughs> yo, ah, and there's two more. The leading tackler on the team, Nick Bolton, had 13 tackles, <laughs> and Harrison Bucker scored the most points in the game with 13. Well, I feel like I gotta go. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> 13 didn't let us down in the Super Bowl. Oh, he let somebody down. <laughs> just <laughs> no. Not, just not switching. Number game. 13 did, but the number 13 didn't let us down. Ah, damn it, Brock. Hey, Brock played well. Congratulations to the 49ers. Brock did play well. Brock played well. He played okay. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I apologize, Brock. You are slightly better than a game manager. Ah, he's agree. good. He's a good game manager. <laughs> nah, he, he's good. He's good. Brock Purdy can play. He's a good game manager. But there's somebody else we got to talk about a little bit more than Brock Purdy. All right. I'm done with my 13 rant. That was well, It was crazy. You could have this one. There is another thing got? that I wanted to talk about, and it might be the same thing that you have. Oh, no. It's okay, not. what you got? This one um, I just looked up randomly. 49ers allowed one sack. The Chiefs allowed three. Mm. <laughs> 13. Mm. Hey, you know what? Um, one I forgot to bring up in the first place, Travis Kelsey was drafted in 2013. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of that. He's got a 13 year old son. Does Ooh. he? No. Oh, 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 do we? And they won by three. W O N, but you could one, one, O N E, <laughs> one in three. <laughs> they this won by crazy. three. <laughs> what did you see, Jordan? So I didn't realize how big like people actually look into numerology. Yeah, and shit it's like crazy. That. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Conspiracy theorists is crazy. Patrick Mahomes ended the game with 333 passing yards. <laughs> the Chiefs won by three points with three seconds left, and the address of the stadium is 3333 Al Davis Way. From the three yard line. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. So people were like trying to look it's into that a little actually more. Actually, insane. Like, that all the numbers and, the, and they won by three. So are you right? saying that? Did you say that? Chiefs, they won by three. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. So are you saying Chiefs three peat is everything but imminent? Oh, at this point? oh shit! Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> Chiefs three peat is imminent. Hey, future Fuckin bet right now. Future right, right now. Hey, I told all y'all catch Chiefs money line. Everybody was talking all that shit. <laughs> who is who? The fuck you saying, y'all? The comments. No, I'm about to say fuck. <laughs> I told you all Chiefs money line before the you season did. started. Okay, I, double, well, I doubled down. Derek, have your double moment. down. Derek, have your moment, King. Derek Dude, knows ball. Have your moment. So we did Super Bowl predictions. I had the Red Bull. When? You had before the season started. Okay, I just that was important. The only one I remember was you. You chose Jets and <laughs> Eagles <laughs> to make the – I mean, Aaron Rodgers got hurt, so that kind of washed it anyways. Dante does not know ball. That kind of washed it anyways. But I had Chiefs Niners, and like I really didn't know who was going to win, so I just said Chiefs, and then Patrick Mahomes wins MVP, and that happened. Also, got Defensive Player of the Year right, got Coach of the Year right. Man, that and was just then, biased guesses. We, we have to ah, talk about that. Too, I did though. last year. I didn't. I took Micah. He didn't win it. Then yeah, you were like, Miles. yeah, fuck it. This year, I'm just going with my team. And then I didn't take. Well, I took initially Sean Payton. I said, fuck it, never mind. I'm going to go Kevin. Thank Spansky. God you didn't. So. Hey, and then I don't know if I got another one right. I have no clue. We'll have to come back to that. I want to talk about Super Bowl more, but we have to come back to the NFL awards too. Oh, one game off of the Browns prediction. If we didn't rest our starters last week, would have got the exact same wins that I predicted. Everybody in the comments. might not section, have won. Drowning piss. Well, we would have won. Yeah, we would have won. Jake Browning. Trash. Dog. Everybody in the comment section, you can drown and piss who said we were delusional, phonies, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Losers. Um, back to well. the Super Bowl. 
We got to talk about one person, one person only. It's not Usher. Travis Kelsey. It's not Usher being a menace on stage. If that was my wife, I would have turned into Glock Purdy because he would have been shot. Um, it's a performance. Right? We got to, yeah, no. Nah. She thick is it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We got to talk about Kyle Shanahan, bro. Uh, Doc Rivers? Kyle Shanahan might be the Doc Rivers of the NFL. He has blown three leads in the biggest game. He hasn't blown a 10 point plus lead since last Super Bowl. <laughs> he, I swear. He blew two leads to Patrick Mahomes and one to Tom Brady. And now I know people are like, hey, he's going up against goats. And that's that's what he said too. He said, uh he said, I've only lost games like blown games to two of the greatest players to ever step on a field. Hey. So he said, in my eyes, that's not that bad. Listen, way to control your own narrative, King. I appreciate that. All Bull, right. He bulled the Dante. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a LeBron <laughs> fan, okay? We're all about controlling our own narrative over here, Bucko, okay? But uh, <laughs> listen. Hell yeah, like he bent the past that pass. Yeah, he passed that, 100%. No way. Yes, he, did. he just he, didn't he, catch he, it. Why the fuck he looked back like he didn't have He was like, he clapped his hands there. together. He, went, he hit one, one of these, bro. No, he, he didn't. he tried to make sure it got there. No, the sure. fuck he didn't. God, the devil works harder than that works harder. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did it. But You're I, the one working. Hey, but I have a serious question, man. Three Super Bowls, he blew leads in all three of them. He's been to two Super Bowls with the 49ers with two God squads. Now, I'm not going to discount his team. You built a great team. Kudos. Yeah. Is Kyle Shanahan the guy to lead the 49ers to that elusive Super Bowl? I kind of side with him. Who did he play against in both those Super Bowls? The greatest of all time and soon to be the greatest of all time. The one he has no excuse for, though. The, the Chiefs, that was only 10-point leads and stuff like that. He was up 28-3 versus Tom Brady. I don't care if it was... Yeah. I don't care who's on the other side. He wasn't the head coach, though. Yeah, he was not. He was a coordinator. He was OC. Yeah, he was a coordinator. But, um, yeah, that one was a, that was one of the worst comebacks ever because is in the Super Bowl, too. But as the coordinator, he stopped running the ball with that two-headed monster and Devontae Freeman. But at and the Tevin same Coleman. time, the head coach has a say in it. So you saying he's only blowing two leads in the Super Bowl? No, but it's not all on him on that on okay. that facet of, of ah. the Atlanta Falcons part of it. But Okay. So you think he's the guy? Yeah, I still think he's the guy. I think he's calling the plays offensively. That's what he should do. Yeah, he's a great player. I caller. mean, what else is a head coach really going to do besides him? Well, so how do you how do you guys feel about him not knowing the rules of overtime or his team not knowing the rules of yeah, overtime? To be honest, I saw a tweet and I agree with it. I wish the 49ers would have scored a touchdown just to see all the players start celebrating like they won because mm-hmm. they didn't know that the Chiefs get a chance to. Yeah, and I think Yo. that was like widely announced that they were changing that that the yeah. other team I gets mean, like, it was after Patrick Mahomes game versus Buffalo. The four guys yes. in here all know that the playoff yeah, what? overtime is different. Yeah, why do we know that? Mm. Well, yeah, we probably our journalism degrees, put but spikes on it. <laughs> but the 49ers had 13 plays on their last drive too. <laughs> That's really? fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> in overtime, two 13 play drives. Dang. Added up total of thirteen minutes. I'm just making that. That was almost running out. He made me look. (laughs) No, there there was was like three seconds left on the on the first. Yeah, that's crazy as fuck. But no, I think that's on Kyle Shanahan for not having his players know. Why didn't he run the fucking ball? He did stop running the ball. Yeah, like that and not explaining the overtime rules. You You got got Christian fucking McCaffrey. You have throughout the whole season, and they were like really boring for the most part. Yeah, you shouldn't have took the ball. Like, kick it away. Did you see but, what the, the team said, too? They said that, like, there was no plan, like, going into overtime or nothing. It was just like, all right, go out there. Well, this is what he fucked <laughs> up. I, like I, I don't know who decided. I don't know if Fred Warner on the on the spot decided to take the ball and want to receive it. Or that was Shanahan saying, hey, we want the ball. Yeah, you got to kick that You got to kick it, bro. He probably wanted it. You do not that want the ball You give first. yourself an extra you, down yeah, every you time. give yourself an extra down if you get it the second. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Bro, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just thought of something I need to talk about. Shanahan fucked that up. Because you always defer or kick it off to him. Now to play unless it's regular overtime, then unless you go score, you win. Yeah, it's yeah. over. Unless it's regular season, but <laughs> yeah. this is the Super Bowl. Yeah, you're gonna have four downs to get a first down yeah. every time, compared yeah. to three to where if you miss it on the fifty yard line, you're like ah. Yeah, but I'd rather know what I need. Time, you need it. You need to do. I'd rather so. know what I need than have to play safe and not get anything. As soon as that happened, I was like, why the fuck did they want the ball? So to play devil's advocate, I think that plays into the fact that he didn't know the new rules. 
because I think yeah, probably if we're going into like what his thought process may have been, obviously I'm not Kyle Shanahan. I don't know what his thought process was, but maybe he was thinking, hey, this is the dagger. We're going to go down. We're going to score. Game's over. Yeah. Well, he's an idiot if he didn't know. I, clearly, he should they be fired did. if he like, didn't know that. I don't know if his just knees weak, palms got sweat. Like, I don't well, know. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, he's got to get off his knees. But if that wasn't even a new thing for this season, wasn't that there last year too? Yeah, yeah. It was that there. Buffalo Kansas but City then, game but, was two years ago. But yeah, yeah, it was yeah, last year. Was it was no, after that Buffalo game. They said both need, both teams need to touch the ball in overtime. Yeah, that's what I thought. Was so, there any overtimes last year? Whole two seasons. Yeah, to learn the playoff OT format. Even yeah. if it was one season, you got the whole fucking off season I mean, and see yeah. this is your job. Yeah, you're, the you're a head coach in the fucking NFL. Makes it worse that he had two. I don't yeah, care if this was the done. first year. I thought <laughs> but it, was, it wasn't. I thought it was funny. A lot of people thought they were gonna run out of time. They didn't know like it was that was the first quarter. So even if they ran out of time that first, you still keep playing. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, this is the they Super were like, Bowl. Why, this ain't ending like yeah, this. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, <laughs> why are they just gonna let the time expire? If they don't score, they, they lose. You think like, they that's let the not what it is. Yeah, bro. Hey, uh, I saw something really funny, though, about Nick Bosa, and they said uh, as long as there is a black quarterback on the other side, he'll never win a Super Bowl because the, the black ancestors of Black History Month won't let that race oh, Jesus. win. <laughs> I've seen something even crazier about Nick Bosa. He had a half sack. They said he figured out how to sack just Mahomes' black side. <laughs> That's crazy. That's Did you see sweet. Eric Armstead <laughs> fucking <laughs> rock bottom Patrick Mahomes, bro? When he tried to do that fake jump pad, what was he doing? I don't know. Like, what was that? I've never seen somebody try to attempt that in my life. He's just trying to. My He's crazy. So he, also, he also is the only dude ever to throw a spin move pass. <laughs> I mean. In fact, hey, that throw to Miko Harmon, though, a lot of cats was hating on it. That was a hell of a ball. Who was hating? Uh, now I'm talking about the deep ball, not the last oh, play. Oh, that oh, deep oh. ball that like got them in the red zone. Mm. That was a hell of a pass. Bro. Yeah, there was Between two, there two, was two people back bro. there too, and Trav was pissed. And that one dude, Trav was, was pissed. Lost. That one corner, whoever safety was back there, he was like, "This is my dude right here." He's like, <laughs> trying to track it down. So many lights. Hey, we got to talk about Trav too. My dude got thugged out on the sideline one time. Nah, bro, he's just passionate. Oh no, no, no I'm just playing. No, me and Matt already had a private conversation. What did you guys think about that first? Uh, I don't have a problem with it, to be honest, because I think Travis and Andy well, Reid have like that personal connection to mm -hmm. where like they're friends. Well, right? like they he said, though, he's like the a, longest tenured chief yeah. on the so roster. He knows him. It's not like he's my boss. Right. that I'm going to like. Yeah, I'm sure it's like father son around him. And, yeah, yeah, they love each other, obviously. Yeah, oh, yeah. And he's going to express how he feels and fucking yell at him, in which I think Andy Reid doesn't care. Andy no. Reid's gonna be like, "Good, I want him to." Express he'll yell right he back. Feels. Yeah, they'll just right yell at, at each other. That's no. why Andy. Andy did you see Andy Reid block his the helmet? Dude was trying to bring his helmet, and Andy Reid was like, "No, no, no, he's sitting." Yeah, like dude was like, "Here, drive. Here's your helmet," and he was like about to give it to him. Andy <laughs> Reid blocked like, it. He was like, "No, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> sit down for a second. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't have a problem with it. You got to cool down for a second. What do you think? Andy Reid he jokingly said uh, that if he wasn't distracted, still paying attention to the game, he would have pushed Travis back. So yeah, probably, was, that's what I'm slow. saying. I think, it's a, I think it's a lot of the, like, just the relationship. It's okay. Yeah. People are trying to I think push it's, a narrative it, around. Like, I think that's Harrison where they, it's the relationship like, that they have. Does that shit, or, you know, some, like, Noah Gray comes up and pushes them, like, then it's probably Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's yeah. a different story. Yeah. Right. Kadarius Tony. Like, yeah, up. you're not coming Kadarius back in Tony's the game. in prison today. <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with him being black at all. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know him like that. <laughs> now, I didn't have a problem with it either. Um, a lot of people, first off, uh, it did get made into a race thing. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do a giant meme, and so, I'm here for it. Yeah, I mean, I, one, it was funny. Like, yeah. okay, it was funny. Travis Kelsey lost to his us, cool. yeah. Like, he's in a Super Bowl. This is the biggest game. I don't even his. know if he lost his cool, though. Like, he was just letting him know, like, Pope this him. is the Super Pope Bowl. Like, let's go, game, bro. The reason I say he lost his cool is just because he grabbed him to make him, like, turn and look at him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when your kid's walking away from you, you're talking uh, shit, and you grab him to make him, like, look you in the eyes. Like, that's my only problem with it. Do you that, think that's what he tried to do? Because he ran into him, and he started trying yeah, to save him. I thought he grabbed him. to, like, hold on to him so he didn't <laughs> fall over. He scared the shit out of him first. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's really why I think he grabbed him, because yeah. he was, like, about to fall over. He grabbed his arm. I got to rewatch it. Maybe he was saving him from breaking the hip. I'm not sure. But I didn't have a problem with it i thought it was just one of those heated moments but it was like a pat it's in a super bowl right if that was week one i think we would have looked at it different but this is the super bowl it's the biggest game tensions are high like you know it happened but like let's not act like just because he was white nothing is gonna happen no it's because of his history as a player yeah. right you've he's never top seen, two tight end ever you've never seen him do that before he's a superstar superstars get different behavior okay 
they get different behavior. It is what it is. I watched Giannis. I don't know if you guys seen the clip. A referee like missed a call or something. Bro, my dude was out of bounds on the bench, not in the game. Took the towel off his neck and snapped the ref in the ass as he was walking back down court Damn. to get his attention to say something to him. And <laughs> no technical, Kinky. no nothing. The ref was like, he was looking at him like, what the hell did you just oh, do? I would have teed That's him up. That shit start. hurts, bro. But that, but like, Duncan I'm, <laughs> got a tech for laughing on the bench. So like. it, exactly. So like superstars get different treatment, whether it's basketball or football. But yeah. like, I think even if that was like, I was talking to Matt, dog, if Nick Chubb would have did, did that to Stefanski, nobody would have called him a thug. Nobody would have been like this, that, like, you know uh, what I mean? Like, Nick maybe, Chubb's a quiet guy. You got to choose someone else. But that's what I'm, <laughs> Miles Garrett. But that's the thing, though. Go. Travis Miles Kelsey Garrett. is a quiet guy. He's He has a good personality, but mm. when has he caused a problem to be loud? Antonio Brown's a loud guy. But he's a chirpy guy on the field, too. Yeah. yeah. It's so a, that's just, Kelsey's a that's loud guy, saying. just in like a different way like a positive personality yeah. miles garrett couldn't do that he had to do with a helmet if he ah, would have if okay. he would have grabbed kevin safansky he might be in jail today too like <laughs> let's not let's not yeah. forget the fact that he had to do yeah. with a helmet wish he would hit him harder but um all right so yeah man great super bowl we enjoyed it right right now it's 10 30 where are we going all, all right. right i thought it was good wait a minute real quick i just want to say one thing i like turtles jordan did you enjoy the halftime show no <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm too young to enjoy. Damn, that Damn boy, Did you, Derek? that's top five. In the I very, it was cool. Derek, Derek used to sit in his mom's car and listen to Usher, so he was probably like, "Yeah." In the very beginning, I was like, it was a little slow, but then when um, Ludacris and uh, CeeLo Green, Lil John, Lil John, it was not CeeLo Green. It's not CeeLo. Green. Lil, not John, C-Lo. Lil John and Ludacris saved it. Hey, do y'all know how long the, uh, do y'all know how long the halftime show lasted? No, bro. It was an extra... 13 minutes. 13 yeah, it was an extra You know how many minutes. songs he sang? It was 11, but it ended up being... Was there 13 13 total? minutes. 13 songs. He did 13 songs, too. Did he do 13 songs, or was there The halftime show was 13 songs long. Okay. Yeah, I see what you tried to do there. All right, um, let's move on. I'm kicking his ass, though, if I'm... Uh, oh, man, I had an icebreaker that I forgot about. We'll save it for next husband. week. Um, what y'all got? You, you want to talk about that game real quick? You want to do something? It, we should probably do that last. So well, if anybody else has any other shit, let's do that. Go ahead. If you want to talk got? about NBA, I have one NBA thing. Oh, I'm talking about uh, NBA. Jordan has an NBA. <clears throat> Did you guys see Spencer Dinwiddie's bonus? Because he the stays Lakers on Twitter. Win the title? No. This was from Instagram. <laughs> Same thing. Um, so you stealing content. Spencer um, Dinwiddie, if the Lakers win the title, will get a $1 bonus. That's disrespectful. That's crazy. That's disrespectful. One dollar? Singular dollar. I thought that I was misreading it. And I was like, no way this is real. One dollar. Call me a thug. I'm putting hands on a GM. Nah, you could just keep that. <laughs> I'm crumbling it up and throwing it. I don't think he GM. has anything to worry about, though. They not winning yeah, the title. Not. Hey, chill out, though. But they not winning the title. They're, they're, they stink. Derek, you got anything? Yeah, I was going to talk about, do you think that was the Chiefs? Or one of the hardest Super Bowl runs ever to where the Chiefs had to play the Dolphins. Which that was their most difficult one. Pretty hyped up. They're, especially because of their roster. roster. They yeah. had the Bills right after. Then they had the Ravens. And then they have the 49ers. Yeah. They, won. they actually were, had to play a wild card game. They were all so like, like the top teams yeah, yeah. in the NFL. Yeah, and they, yeah. You don't have a, like you said, you don't have a bye week. Yeah, the they've had a bye playoffs. twice already when yeah. they uh, won. Mm-hmm. Or the first time, I'm sorry. And they won all of them. Listen, man. Uh, Without Tyree Kill, undefeated so far in the playoffs. Hats off to Andy Reid, man. He did a he did a great job with that team because this going to expose some people. Who remember, said it? Theobon. No. <laughs> this, sorry, you did. Theobon. Somebody tweeted it. Let's go expose a couple of people. I don't know who said it. Antonio Brown. Keenan yeah. Allen. I'm about to say he's on Twitter, so you got to ask him. Yeah. Keenan Allen. Twitter fingers. Said that when Tyreek got traded. Ah. Uh, well, it's gonna expose. I mean, listen, Andy Reid, bro. Freezing cold takes. Yeah, who did expose Keenan? Freezing who? cold takes. Yeah, nobody, because Tyreek Hill almost had two thousand yards. Yeah, he still was, did. What it he was did. geared towards the Chiefs. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, he is in their division. Because well, yeah, I was gonna say he plays on the Chargers, so it was geared towards them. Bro, Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs, Andy Reid, bro. I made a statement. I'm not even gonna put us in it, but you remember we were talking about like. If you could pick your matchup when your team was going, yeah, to oh the yeah, playoffs. I said the same thing. I said the Chiefs. I said the Chiefs look a little sweet, bro. Look like I was wrong, like way wrong. Yeah. The Chiefs came in and they they didn't dominate, but Patrick Mahomes looked terrible for the most part. And what then a, at the end of the game, he just did what good. <laughs> what about Miko Hardman starting the season on the Jets and then you catch the game winning? T- 
touchdown in the Super Bowl. He said, don't even know you caught the game-winning catch in the Super Bowl. He he's just thought like, it was a touchdown. He didn't even know. That was crazy. He's like, I'm going to go play with Aaron Rodgers. He got hurt. He's like, ah, take me back. Take me back. <laughs> take me back. <laughs> How did he not know that was the game-winning touchdown? Nobody I don't know if, knew the rules, yeah. apparently. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> I was going to say, like, he almost knocked I know that the bitch Niners right off. didn't know the rules, but like, how did he know? Yeah, some know? of the Chiefs didn't know He the didn't rules know that either. it was over, I don't think. Yeah. He was just like... They thought they just kept going. Yeah. Like, no. I mean, the way that the ref kind of said it in the beginning was like, we're starting a brand new game. That makes well, you, he even guess, kind of think. He, was he like, said that, yeah. and he stuttered like... He said, yeah, touchdown. <laughs> he didn't know the rules Bro, either. The he like stuttered. He said... <coughs> stuttered I forget what it was. Up a couple times. He must have been on the Jets when they had their meeting for the <laughs> overtime they rules. They had no clue. That they were like, y'all not going to the Super Bowl. It's fine. Hey, um, did y'all see... Um, did y'all see that it was the most watched Super Bowl of all time? Yeah. I... I think anyone could have predicted that one. Why? Taylor. Look on your shirt, buddy. Taylor. <laughs> it's Taylor. it's her version. Hey, did you guys know? Don't tell, I'm in my, don't tell me it was by 13 million more than the last. I'm in my NFL era. <laughs> hey, fun fact. Go. Did you guys know Taylor Swift does not sell her likeness to any company? Like crazy, you won't bro. find Taylor Swift shirts in stores. Like H&M. Like, yeah. So we like, were out seen trying to find Taylor Swift shirts and they don't exist because she has not sold her likeness to anybody. She Shout only, out to her. Yeah, she can only sell her own merchandise. She wearing her face a diaper on stage. Well, she also, I guess, got fucked over by a record label. So. Yeah, Scooter Braun did her dirty. So she really don't want to be in like any deals. I get it. I get it. Um, I had an a activity for us to do something fun. If you guys want to do it, Yay, you, bring in the fun activity. you guys want to do something activity fun? is crazy. Like activity. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. And then we'll go to mine for the rest. Let's. So we watched Patrick Mahomes anoint himself to greatness, put himself on Mount Rushmore. For the people who don't know what Mount Rushmore is. Everybody knows. Because uh, last time I asked my dude to Mount Rushmore, they gave me five names. And I said, well, buddy, it's four. But it's like he's, top five. he's on Mount Rushmore. So he cemented himself as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. I want to do something Go. and build the worst possible quarterback of all time. Let's do it. So give us our categories. What a couple of attributes, arm strength, durability, decision-making, pocket presence. We don't have to do, cause that's kind of like decision-making, but we can, we could talk about that one, their build or stature and speed. Now we're going to do this with all current NFL quarterbacks. Okay. It can even be okay. a backup too. It can current. be a backup. Current. Call okay. current. I got it. I All right. I so got, I think I got let's it. start at the top. Arm strength. Who do we want for arm strength? Can we just uh, put Mitch Trubisky for all of these? No. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Arm strength. Who do you think when you think of just noodle arm? A lot of people. I thought about Josh Dobbs in the back of my head. <laughs> Josh Dobbs. He does has not no have a strong arm. arm. <laughs> he has none. Okay, Josh Dobbs. Okay, Josh Dobbs, Dobbs is a good no, one. I like, like the that. the first one that came I like to mind that. for me. Okay, Josh Dobbs for arm strength. What's next? Durability. Durability. Who stays hurt? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. You got Kyler, Daniel Jones. Joe Burrow's been hurt twice. Burrow, Two okay. season ending injuries already. Joe Burrow is hurt a lot. Michael Penix isn't in the NFL yet, but I really want to use his durability. Is there any He's other torn way? his ACL like four times, Ooh, bro. Tyrod Taylor. Motherfucker uh, gets hurt, then the other dude comes up. And then uh, he even man. fakes getting hurt <laughs> so, so that Baker Mayfield can play. fake getting hurt. <laughs> yes, he um, did. Uh, oh, damn. I wish Sam Bradford was still in the NFL. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Teddy. Uh, Teddy. Uh, he just retired. Yeah, no. <laughs> we both thought Teddy at the same time. Fuck. <laughs> Why did we, we go thought, from Sam Bradford Vikings, to Teddy? We okay. thought Vikings. All right, let's then. go Tyrod Taylor. I mean, you dude, they ha yeah, they had to do a surgery on him, and he just bad luck, Bro, dude. They lacerated, they lacerated his kidney. kidney. Or, no, they lung. punctured his lung. Or punctured lung. his lung, yeah. yeah. With the shot. That's how unlucky could you possibly be? Decision-making. I feel like you this should be Zach Wilson people. here. This got to be uh, Zach Wilson. Who? Is, Zach Wilson oh, is yeah. terrible I was going to say Jameis. I was going to say Jameis. <laughs> Jameis uh, is pretty – Jameis is there. Yeah. Jameis' decision-making is, hey, I'm going to throw it up. Because Jameis had, like, multiple teams where their offensive line was the least decent. Zach doesn't even have an offensive line. Okay. All right. So we want to go Jameis Winston? Yeah. It's either those two. <laughs> I feel like he has proved. Or uh, I mean, he threw three interceptions. Or Andy Dalton. That, remember he threw them back-to-back uh, back back pick, back pick sixes before, before halftime? is crazy work, bro. That was bad. He literally took them out of the game in two possessions. And he's like, ah. All right. Let's go Jameis. Pocket presence. Mason Rudolph. <laughs> he Mitch does. He his does have, pocket presence is tear. I've never, ever, ever seen a quarterback get their arm hit so many times trying to throw a football. 
I'm and trying. just stand in the same spot. He just, <laughs> my God. <laughs> you want to go Mason? Yes. Because I, 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 unless thinking, you could think of somebody better. Who is bad pocket? Justin Fields got pretty bad pocket presence. That's my. I was dude, thinking Zach Wilson too again for that. I mean, we build the worst quarterback. It is essentially Zach Wilson, but <gasps> it, it's it is not the Melf Hunter though part. Uh, if there's a Melf Hunter, you can't choose Zach Wilson for that one. All right, go Mason. What's the next one? Build or stature? There's only two guys here. Build or st- oh, Kyler Murray? We're no, looking. I got Bryce Young. Bryce Young. He's oh, yeah. smaller, bro. Oh, bro. I got Bryce hey, Young. Being- Bryce Young was like a short version of Jordan. <laughs> Kenny could also be in this conversation. <sighs> He's got small hands. That's a bad build. Just saying. As part of <laughs> I build. was gonna Ooh. say. I thought so we were doing. I thought say, we were doing hands. <laughs> what if we say Bryce Young with Kenny's hands? <laughs> okay, I like what you did there. Yeah, you do do Bryce Young stature and uh, Kenny Kenny's Pickett's hands. hands. Okay, I like that one. Speed. Who's just slow as shit? <laughs> like, who do you think of? And they just look like they're running in cement. Ryan I mean, Moore. Aaron Rodgers slow as shit because he's old now. He's Aaron Rodgers is like getting slow though. I mean, nah, he can still kind of move can, a little bit though. To, I'm talking like Peyton Manning. Joe like, who, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco is slow as hell too. <laughs> uh, that's why I said Brian Hoyer. <laughs> so Brian we, Hoyer is slow okay, as we hell. can change it from speed to like mobility. Okay. Yeah, Who's mobility is a good one at all. So we want to do Joe Flacco for mobility, I, bro. You, I watched a couple plays. That motherfucker got out of the pocket, made some crazy throws. I mean, he I'm, did. I'm not. All right, he is more right. evasive than he gets credit for. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's just so big. He's six, slow six. as hell. Yeah. <laughs> he is big as hell, bro. Did you see how small he made Lamar look at the award show? Oh my god. Who hold do on. we pick? I'm trying to. Think. There's got to be a slow ass yeah, backup. Um, I'll, I'm going to search it for. Real quick second. Who's the Broncos backup? Is like now they're Trevor crazy. Simeon? <laughs> Trevor Simeon got to be slow. <laughs> I've no, never seen a run. He's got to be slow. Yeah. Tim Boyle's just slow. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, got to be. Clayton, Clayton Toon. <laughs> Clayton Toon. He, he wasn't that slow. I called a new coon for two Easton weeks. Stick. <laughs> Easton Stick. Easton uh, Stick. Whose pocket have... presence did we use? Mason Rudolph's? Yeah. Build Stature. Bryce Young and Kenny. Speed slash mobility. Who we got? <laughs> mobility. <laughs> I know we've been like Loki just talking shit, but Mitch looks so like uncomfortable with being able to walk around. Mitch is fast, actually. He got he just, like he, he got some wheels. Like, he runs like he doesn't know how to run. I know what you mean though. Brian Horror has the lowest speed rating. Number two is Joe Flacco. <laughs> With the I was right there, so bro. It's, it's gonna be way sweeter if we put Joe Flacco Lizard than Brian Hoyer. Yeah, I wanted to see like speed wise because I can't go back. And Brian Hoyer has a sixty four. Joe Flacco has a sixty nine. In Madden. In Madden. This cat. <laughs> okay, so barbershop break rooms. Worst possible quarterback. He has the arm strength of one Josh Dobbs, the durability of Tyrod Taylor, the decision making of Zach Wilson, the pocket presence of Mason Rudolph, the build and stature of Bryce Young with Kenny Pickett's hands. And the speed and mobility of one Jose Flacco. <laughs> Tell us your worst possible quarterback in the comment section. Oh, my oh. God. The camera was on Matt that whole time. Shut yes, up, dude. I hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you so much. Matt Barkley, Nathan Peterman. Worst throw power in them in Madden so far. Nathan hey, we should have went with Nathan, Nathan Peterman's, Peterman's decision making. making. Fuck. Let's go back. You got All it. right. Yep. So we're going to go back decision making. And for decision making, we have Nathan Peterman. You can go ahead and edit that up. Well, we got to like pretend like we kind of made that decision because we talked about Jameis and Zach for like five minutes. Yeah, we were just wrong. We got to okay. go with Nathan yeah, Peterman's sure. decision making. The dude sure. threw what? Well, how many picks was it? In one All game? right, stop five. looking shit up. I think it's five. five. Yeah, five. That's crazy. And still got a job after that. Lowest yeah. awareness: Trey Lance, Malik Willis, and Hendon Hooker. Oh, Malik Willis. DTR is in the top five worst though. Shout out to him. Oh my god, we could have won DTR okay. stature. Oh, he yeah, he's a little dude, small. too. He little. They're about the same size, him and Bryce look, Young. Look him up in Bryce Young size, but we can Bryce, keep it as Bryce, Bryce Young. will get us a little more. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Change. All right, Matt, where, where do you want to go? Okay, so. You're excited. You're lubed up. No, 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 no. I'm good. Matt's feet are I just shaking. need. <laughs> I just need. Uh, look, like, are they? I need somebody to, like. Look it up? No, 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 no. You don't have to look. No, we got to keep track. It's a lot. keep track for you. Okay, it's a lot. We don't have to do it all today if we don't have time oh my god what do you what, are we yeah, what you got bro this is <clears throat> but listen killing me. so it was actually like semi referred to me to do this so you're stealing content S- no, no 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 somebody asked I'm just, I'm just gonna say that all week long so 
I just had to like move it or like Make change. I had to change it up a little yeah. bit. Will you tell? They me. want us to see off the top of the head if we can name five non-active players on every NFL team. Oh my god! You want to do AFC North first? AFC North, we'll be done with that in a minute. I know, but like go down that. Like, That's what I just need like somebody that. to like keep track. So, but like, like I feel like if we don't do them all, maybe. we're gonna just gonna go home and think of them or play Weddle or uh, Grid Challenge. And we're gonna be like, oh, we can add him to the list. Wait, name five, five inactive, inactive yeah, players. That's easy as shit, but yeah. From every single team. We can do that. I think we can too. For, for every sure. team? Every single team. Yes. I don't know if I can give you five. There's multiple Vikings. players that played for multiple teams. Can we use a player once, though? The Only can use a player once. Okay. Yeah, like go. I can't think then of that, five for the Vikings. And that change. Alan Page. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold so, on. So if they're retired, that counts, obviously, right? Jared. Yeah, Allen. Inactive. Okay. Retired, not okay. playing anymore. You could use Brett Favre. Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford. <laughs> Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> Sam Bradford yeah. played for them? Yeah. 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 You can, you can fact check. You want me to Google it? We know ball. You can fact check. I believe you. I just don't remember. Big Weddle guy. All right, boys. I know Sam Bradford plays for the it, Rams. Then. Let's start. Okay, where are we starting? Let's start with the AFC. AFC North? Let's start with the North. I have Browns, Pittsburgh, Bengals, and then we'll go Ravens. That's okay. the order that we're going to go in. So we're going Browns first? That's fine. Then you can go to this be inactive easy. Browns is going to be easy. How about me and Derek just do Browns and you guys just do Pittsburgh? Can I come in to do our favorites? Give me Josh. That's Gordon. fine. Go ahead. Because we, <laughs> Muhammad Massaquai. Oh, no, go random. I want you to just pick the most random dudes you can think of. <laughs> I don't know how to spell Massaquai, but sure. Muhammad Massaquai. But I know what I'm going to put in here. It's going to look like Massaquai, but. Um, <laughs> Jerry Kruger. Jerry Kruger. Ooh. <laughs> We could use him for the Ravens. Yeah, you could use him from the Ravens. <laughs> Can I get a Paul Kruger? Oh, that's who I meant. <laughs> Close enough. I got his last name. <laughs> that's why I said it. I'm like, it's Paul, there you bro. Go. My bad. Uh, it's okay. Um, can I get Jordan Cameron? Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> what about his Jordan? Or what is it? Cameron Jordan? What about his counterpart? <laughs> then I'll go with the guy I liked watching for no reason. Andrew Hawkins. Andrew Hawkins. Damn, I thought he was going to pick Gary Barnage. No. <laughs> All right. That's, All right that's you got five? five? That was that's five. five? That was five? All right, we cool. got Josh Gordon, Muhammad Masquad, Paul Kruger, Jordan Cameron, and Andrew Hawkins. Fire. Sweet. Steelers, you guys Steelers, go. Steelers, Jordan, go. Eli Rogers. Ooh. Nice. The XFL legend. Uh, Sammy Coates. Sammy Coates. Why do I remember him so vividly, too? He sucked. Darius Hayward Bay. Oh, I hated I that guy with a him. fucking passion. Uh, let me get damn dude. Darius Hayward Bay just pissed me off. I hated <laughs> yeah, that guy so the whole much. Game yeah, for that yeah. <laughs> uh, I think of one more. Limus yeah. Swede. Ooh, you, that's I, there's one. Limus Swede. How the hell do you? L I M A S S W E E D. Okay, I've, I don't even know who that guy is. Texas I legend. Another one. One more. Anybody. Could be retired. Yeah, no. Yeah, uh, I'll take a guy I liked watching when I was younger, Brett Kiesel. Brett Ooh. Kiesel, the dude with the beard. Y'all forgot the CTE legend. No, not no. AB. We can use Rashard him. For some... <laughs> I, ain't, I don't talk about him. Fitzgerald. So do we want to go? AB we want to go in order. Fitzgerald. Pick... All right, let's go Bengals now. Do you want to just try to go in order together? Yeah, we guys? can. All right, let's Bengals. Do, do you want? Me we to... could just go around. Yeah. Anyone first? Start with Jordan. Who wants to go first? Go. Yeah, you just start. You start on you. So you can go in order. Bengals, go. Chad Ochocinco. Good one. TJ Hushimanzada. Mm. Uh, let me go Chad's friend, Terrell Owens. Ooh. Um, fuck. I forget the- Don't you mess up the flow. The guy that did the flip in the end zone, Simpson. Oh, man. <laughs> I oh, last OJ. Day. No. <laughs> I just know it's Simpson something, but just give me uh, take somebody else. The Red Rocket. Ah, Andy. Andy Dalton. Is he still in the league? He might still be I active. Still, oh, no, I he's think he's active. a backup. Okay, I was I forgot that we're yeah, doing. Yeah, he's still active. Not. Um, I was kind of confused too. That's why I wasn't taking anybody like that. Like, if they have to be inactive or just no longer on that team. No, inactive. They got to be done. Okay. Palmer. Who? Carson. Carson. There you go. Fuck you. That was what I was going to say. You want me to go? I got uh, a really good one. Your boy, bro. Yeah, if you got a good one, go ahead. 
Cedric Benson. Ooh, Cedric Benson. You could have said AJ Green too. I was waiting for Avante. Corey Dillon. Cedric Benson. Yeah. Okay. Corey Dillon would have been a good one too. Jordan Hill. Ooh, Jordan Hill too. LSU legend. So you just, do you want Save to go to Dalton for, for the Ravens? Baltimore. Yeah. For Baltimore. All right, Dante, you start it. Uh, I actually met him. So uh, Terrell Suggs. Nah, T Sizzle. Yeah, that I'm gonna was go my with first one. I actually met him. That's why. All right, it's on me. Uh, let me think. Trying to think of a random. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something crazy. I got one too in my head. That's not crazy, but he was. I'm just gonna put him down. Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams, legend. Two K Jamal. Two K Jacoby Jones. Jacoby. Oh, Jacoby. Super Bowl legend. Your fucking court. Your fucking head coach trying to trip him on the fucking sideline. Pieces yeah. of shit. He was lost. I'm just gonna take a uh, guy you don't ever want to be in an elevator with. <laughs> ah. To end it, I'm gonna go with a hometown legend. Shout out to uh, Warren G. Harding, Prescott Burgess. Ah. Prescott um, Burgess. Do you even know who that is? Nope. Went to Harding, linebacker, went to your favorite squad, Michigan. Mm. Had a great career in Michigan, too. Yeah, I've heard of that guy. Shout out to him, that's family. Do we want to keep rolling with him? Okay, what's next? I say we do each division each week. We can do two because this one's pretty least, easy. At least two. We're only on, it's only ten fifty. Hey, I was on TikTok real quick, and I wanted to just like completely segue and just like you ever get a text message we'll from somebody that they just hate for no reason. Like they just send you something like that's just hating for no reason. Who? Anybody? Like oh. has it ever happened to you? All the time. So I was gonna text you just hating the other day for no reason. And I was like, hey, bro, Dev was on to something. Big Ben didn't get that touchdown versus Shut the Seattle. Fuck up. He was shorter he than a motherfucker, bro. No, he wasn't. He, bro, he touchdown. was shorter than a motherfucker, bro. You're crazy. Hey, I'm going to send you to TikTok. My you dude, can send it. He was shorter than a motherfucker. I mean, we can't change results. Are you ready for one more? Stay away to say. I'm ready for Since way more, did, bro. Um, Should we do NFC North? Since yeah, let's do NFC North. Ooh, NFC I like North. That. I like well, it. I'm choosing. <laughs> oh. I already typed it out. Take okay, what you got? game, so Matt chooses. Too bad. He already typed it. What you got? already typed it. The NFC East. <laughs> NFC <North. laughs> this dude. Okay. Matt, start us Tell me what team? Packers I have first. Packers first. Okay. Jordy Nelson. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Who I could have used for the Bengals, AJ Hawk. Oh, I like hey, it. Hey, we're about to just have a massive amount of people just saying random stuff in yes, the comment bro. section. I love it. Eddie Lacy. Ooh. Oh, that fat piece of shit. <laughs> you, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> um, I don't know if he's uh still active or not, but uh there's no way he is. Brett Huntley. I don't think so. That was Aaron Rodgers' backup for a for little a while. while. Yeah. I, there's no way. Oh, I got some active. good ones. Even if he is, you could say Matt Flynn. I'm, I'm gonna look him up. Right I know quick. you you're the last one. I know you're thinking of one, but do you think Ha Ha Clinton Dix is still in the league? He is. Yeah, yeah he okay. is. Uh, let me get AJ Hawk's counterpart, <laughs> Clay. Clay Matthews. <laughs> I like it. So now we have Vikings. Last time he was Dead. seen, he was on the Vegas Vipers in 2023. Damn, boy. He's on Ravens in 22, though. Damn, boy. Was Percy Harvin? He wasn't black enough for the Ravens. Mm -mm. Percy you Harvin, Vikings. That's you got, Percy? Yep. That works. Okay. Was it on him? Yeah. Okay. I'll just take uh, the goat, Randy Moss. Vikings, yeah. All right. Who we say so far? Percy. Randy. Randy. Mm -hmm. That's it? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go with uh, Dante Culpepper. Spelled his name Ooh. way saucier than I could. D-A-N-T-E. D-A-U-N-T-E. Mm. He threw a U in that Yeah, baby. he did. Cause um, really let me go with the cowboy himself, Jared Allen. <laughs> Did you hear me say him earlier or no? No, I heard Alan I Page. Um, he that's who I'm going to take next. That's, Alan Page. Okay, we'll yeah, take Alan Page like... for the last one. Jordan, sadly, it's not your favorite team, the Bears. It's the Lions first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lions, who you got, brother? This one's a little tough. Lions is tough. Because I just don't think of the Lions players. Yeah, like I'm thinking like you what about the Panthers? And I mean, you can go with the obvious ones, bro. Go ahead. Megatron. I'll take Megatron. I was going to say it's going to be fun because that's when people are going to tell us we don't know ball. Because we yeah. only took like, the no name You ones? couldn't think of Dan Orlovsky. You yeah. don't know ball. Is that who you're taking? Yes, Dan I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Big Dan. Let me get Joe Harrington. Ooh. Um, oh, I should have took my boy we use in the grid, Joe, uh, John Kitna. Fuck. 
just thinking Barry in the back of my head. Take That's him. like the well known. Give me Barry because I can't oh. think of anybody else. You got nobody? <laughs> Let me I just gave it. you Let one. Me. Let me get it for you. Mm. Let me get. Hey, yo. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> hey, did you, I seen a meme yesterday. He said a dad yelled, good D, and all he heard from his son upstairs was, hey, yo. <laughs> oh, he's on a sh- talk show. Huh. NBs are initials. Bro. Is that who yeah. you're taking? Nate. Another Dan. Dan Campbell, bro. Let's go. All right, bro. Dan Let's Campbell. Go. He's active. Nate Burlinson. Nate Burlinson Nate, was Nate who you were talking about? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. And yeah, that's Steelers. what I was talking about. I remember that. All right. Let's keep it pushing. So we, we going Dan for that last yeah, one? Yeah, big Dan Campbell, baby. Okay. All right. And then you start for the Nah, Bears. you got to take pick up his Bears one now. Yeah, you okay. got to pick me up. Hey, no, we'll skip to Matt. Brian Erlacher. Brian Erlacher. Okay. <laughs> Let me get the fridge. The fridge. <laughs> Shout out to Ultimate Team. Let me get Jim McMahon. Oh my God! Can I get a Vince McMahon? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, we stand with McMahon. The Bears. Either Cutler or Kitna. I don't know which one I want. I don't think Kitna played for them. Cutler did. Mike Dicka. Dicka. Oh, 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 okay. Dicka. I'm. That's my fantasy team. Oh, take Jay. Give me Jay. Jay smoking. Jay's funny. <laughs> smoking Jay's funny. Jay Cutler. Big Devin Hester. Oh, was that five? the Hall of Famer? Yeah, that was five. Oh, yeah. that's, those are two. We got the NFC North and the AFC North done there. So gas. We got uh, any final thoughts? Anything we want to button up with before we get out of here? Anything at all? I'm trying to think. Let me um, go back to uh, my notepad. It's there's me. I have one thing I, that we didn't go over. That. Oh, I had something quick. If you guys want to just do, it was going to be my icebreaker, but like we could just do it. We real can quick do that because it. all mine was like the Patrick Mahomes versus Tom Brady in the first seven seasons. You got uh, that's yeah. the only thing was. Um, so I mean, that, that'll that be cooler than what I want to do. I mean, we might be able to do both for a list. Do yours real quick. Okay. Um, so shout out to uh, Dylan Powell on uh, Twitter. Dude has a huge Twitter page just for asking random questions every day about NFL. Um, but I saw one that I liked. Um, I'm not content stealing. I'm paying homage to him. Shouting him out. Shouting him out. Shout out to Dylan Powell. Um, who is the worst player's jersey you've owned? Hmm. This is crazy. Like, like he's the worst player. Well, like just, worst player, just worst player. Not the, yeah, his is easy because I remember when he bought that one. <laughs> so Matt, you want to start it off, and then it might give you an example. I have one in my head. So it's not like last week how we talked about the worst, worst jersey. Yeah, not the no, worst, no, 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 the worst the player. Worst, yeah, the worst jersey. player's okay. jersey you've ever owned. Yeah, that. so let me start that over. Um, who is the worst player's jersey you've ever ever owned? I stroked out. Sorry. <sighs> I, it ha- I feel like it has to be Mason Rudolph. 100% it is. I'm just trying to think. Like, I had a lot of jerseys when I was little. I think Mason Rudolph is All right, yeah, jersey. it's probably Mason Rudolph. You can go to the next one. I'm just going to keep thinking for a second. I had, like, two, but I think Brady Quinn is the worst one that I've had. So. <laughs> What's the other one you think? Colt McCoy, but he's played in the league for a decent amount yeah, of time yeah, in one game. Yeah, he had a long so career. I think it's, it's Brady Quinn. He came in last year for the Cardinals, right? Or was that this year? Uh, year before, okay. I think. Who you, who you got? I'm going to be honest. I I don't buy a lot of jerseys, so the worst player that I have is probably Juju. Mm. Juju on a beat. Cass Damn. so mad at you for that. There's going to be a random even Juju. When you were, even when you were younger and stuff, not yeah. even an NBA, we're nothing. Gonna, we're going to cut it out yeah. that he said he doesn't have You got a, a Larry jerseys. Nance jersey. Yeah, I guess, but like. Larry Nance is worse in basketball than Juju is in football, I think. <laughs> Facts. But I met Larry Nance. That don't that make, don't make no difference. <laughs> that don't mean he's right, sweeter. Well, Larry Nance. No, Larry, Larry Nance is going to see this. He's about to flame your ass. <laughs> oh, Let me get that jersey boy. back. Tagging. Tagging. I bought it. Hey. I bought the jersey. Hey. He just signed it. And we got to post a picture of Jordan holding the Larry Nance <laughs> oh, jersey yes. next to him. <laughs> but I'm going to Photoshop it. Jordan's going to be taller than me. You guys Larry know Nance I've never told that story to the podcast. I know, bro. What a fire moment. You, you want to tell him? You want to tell how you met him? Yeah, not right now. right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can do it real quick. Dante, who's your jersey? We only uh, have one left. Let's forgot, finish I it. I forgot about Dante. My bad. Um, I, I've had a lot of jerseys. Um, yeah, it might be that be easier. they were good players. We just didn't have them long. Do you have your own jersey? or? Oh, my bad. I was a four-star recruit, bro. <laughs> you better put some respect on my name. Point four. I think it might... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a star halfway. <laughs> like, no, it was just like, like a, a halfway like field. Ah, half a star. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's my Isaac Okoro Cavs jersey. Oh, hell yeah, <laughs> Why do bro. You have a Cor- a Coro jersey. My dude Tyler gave it to me. <laughs> you go to the games, that's really the only jersey that you could get afterwards. That's why he, no one else buys that's his jersey. Why, that's why I have it. Yeah, I think it's an Isaac Okoro. I'm it's trying to that. think, bro. I bought a lot of jerseys. 
jerseys when I was little. I like well, that I was one of my things. Like I would just buy a random jersey. I don't know if this dude was good or not technically, but I also have my number eight Browns jersey that uh, people probably think is oh, that's more, definitely the worst, bro. Uh, funny story. It's Chris Nagar N A G G A R. Yeah, that's the worst uh, person you have. He's not even G, in the right? league just anymore. No, there's two G's. There's two G's. No way. Yeah. yeah. What's his Go name? Go ahead, again? Chris Nagar. G G. Chris. A R. But uh, shout out to my boy, Chad. Uh, he bought that for me as a joke because he thought it would be funny for me to wear a jersey that says Nagar on the back. And I wear it with pride. And I'm just going to say I went to a Browns game with it on. I took a lot of fucking pictures with some random people with that jersey on. Guess what? That guy sucks. Who? No. Nah. Hey, watch it, be like, watch it be like a 95. He never missed from his career. He went one for one from the 30 to 39 range. But I he thought missed. he was a punter. No, he's a kicker. He missed one extra point. He went one for two. I think he's all right, then. But he's 100% from field goal. Where is he at now? Uh, he hasn't played since 2021. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you guys decide. Is it Coral or is it Chris Nagar? It's but Chris. Jordan, get us out of here with it's your uh, Larry Nance story. How'd you meet all Larry right. Nance, bro? So, Lawrence. me and my buddy Mike, we were playing uh, Apex. And I don't know if you guys have played Apex, but it's a three-man game. Shockingly never played it. And when you, if you want to queue in with just two, it'll give you a random. So we get in. And the dude's username is Larry DN7. And we were like, that's Larry Nance's Instagram name. Like, that's kind of weird to have your, you know, your Xbox name be Larry Nance's Instagram. Right. It's weird so that you we knew just, that that was his Instagram name, too. Well, he was on the Cavs at the time. He oh. followed him. Big, big Cavs guy, bro. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot. He was a big NBA guy. Right? It was the year after they won the championship. I'm pretty No, the year after LeBron left. So okay. yeah. another one more year after they won, or two more years after they won. Um, so we went into game chat, we were just talking, and my dude Mike goes, see, bro, I told you this wasn't fucking Larry Nance, it's some weirdo that just has his Instagram name. Ah. And Larry Nance, like literally immediately, he goes, oh, my bad, bro, I couldn't find my mic. And we were like, no way. So we asked him, like, you know, what teams your dad played for and stuff like that. Just, like some trivia Just like questions. some little, like, yeah, stuff I was thinking that, like, in my head, normal how do you person know what he sounds know. like? <laughs> yeah, shit like the normal person wouldn't know. Mm. So he was like, yeah, and he, uh, he was like, we we're telling him where we're from and stuff. And he said he got recruited by YSU before he went to Wyoming. And, you know, we told him we're Cavs fans. And he goes, well, you guys want to come to a game? Like, I'll get you seats. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, I'll go. But it'd probably be, like, way up. Like, it's cool, though. We go to the, what's it called? Will call? Mm -hmm. Pick the tickets up? Yeah. Man, this cat sat his courtside. That under, is under fire. The hoop. That is under fire. The hoop. That is so badass. not only that, we met, his dad was, like, two seats behind us. And he went up to their... uh their box. Mm -hmm. After the game, he gave us like a pass to come meet the players. We met Channing Fry. Not really many other players. Did you talk came to Channing? Out. I would love to meet so, Channing Fry, bro. He's he seems like just yeah. a bro. Yeah. Like he's just a straight up bro. Yeah. Obviously, there's like 15 minutes or so between like when the game ends and the players come back out on the court to like talk to people. Yeah. Um, then we we're talking to a security guard that works all the Cavs games, and he goes, "Hey, Channing Fry's coming, but I don't know if he'll really talk to you. He don't really like fuck with the fans that much." And ah, uh, Channing. We just were like, hey, career. Channing Fry, like, you want to sign my ball for me? So he signed my basketball and uh, he signed my dude Mike's jersey. But Larry comes out and we're bullshitting. And uh, he's like, hey, man, I got to go. There's like this group of kids. I, I forget where they were from, but they were like from a different country that were coming here just to watch the game. So he was going to go talk to them. But, Indonesia. you know, it was super cool. He walked us out on the court, took a picture and stuff, signed the jersey. He goes, hey, my dad and my brother are up in the, the box right there. If you guys just walk up, like, I'm sure they won't care. So we walked up there, talked to Larry Nance Sr. and Pete Nance. Pete was at Northwestern at the time. He hadn't gone to UNC yet. So on my Larry Nance jersey, I have Larry Nance Sr., Larry Nance Jr., and Pete Nance all signed on the back. And his wife was like, how did you guys meet Larry Nance? Like, how did you meet him? <laughs> and we were like, ah, video games. And she That's goes, fire. he's always on that fucking game. So like even the even NBA players and shit like their wives are like, he's always on that fucking game. Like, that's dope. She was kind of pissed, but it was super cool. No, nah, that's a dope story, <laughs> um, though. That's fire. Like, Nance. the fact that he actually gave you tickets, oh, too, yeah. and kept yeah. his word, yeah. that's fire. <laughs> what if y'all would have showed up and there was no tickets? No, that's what I <laughs> showed up. Yeah. So, you know what else was really cool, though? Like, so I picked the game. I wanted to go see him. Um, and he wore a Raptors jersey. <laughs> I forget who they were playing. He left that detail okay, out. Okay, so yeah, I'll tell that story, too. But I forget who I wanted him to play. Or who I wanted to go I see them play. I drink all over the place. <laughs> but I like got we got it all set up to go watch a game, and then he got hurt. So he actually reached out to me like this was like two weeks after. 
And he was like, hey, man, I'm not going to be playing in that game. If you guys still want to come see that, like, you can, but I'm hurt. I won't be playing. And we have to get on the plane right after the game to go to Philly. So we won't be able to, like, really talk or anything like that after the game. So I was like, oh, no, that's cool. Like, uh, is there any other game? Like, when do you think you'll be back? Because he just, like, it was like a sprained ankle or something. Fucking Jordan so, the insider. He's getting insider information know, over here. Him. So he came back, and we actually went and seen him play against the Bucks. but Giannis sat that game. But the Cavs won, and, like, a, it was a really good game. Uh, they won with, like, 10 seconds left by two or three. So That's dope. But question. But I was did. this when Tristan Thompson said that, like, we're still the team to yeah, go through? that was the year after. So, yeah. So I had to have been. I had one the champs until we ain't. in my possession, and it was it was a LeBron jersey. And it was the year he left to go to L.A. So I was like, I can't wear that. You can wear that. My dude wore a Baker Mayfield jersey, and I was like, well, I'm not a Browns fan. Can't wear that. Can't wear that. You can wear Cavs. Do right? you have an Indian? He won them a championship. No, once he I'm won a, that, Sox fan. Uh, once he oh, won a championship, all that the bullshit only, was erased. The only Cleveland team that I, I support is the Cavs. So I don't have any other Cleveland like sports teams. Until next year all. when Pittsburgh has an NBA team. You want an um, Isaac Coral jersey? John Morant's the <laughs> yeah. leading scorer for him. But so I wore my... The purple Leading shooter. dinosaur Vince Carter jersey. And when they put me courtside, they actually, somebody was telling us like, hey, uh, since you got these tickets given to you, you cannot wear a team that isn't a Cleveland team courtside. So I had to put my jersey, I was wearing my, it was a Nike shirt hoodie, but it was just like this. I had to put my jersey on to my bare skin underneath <laughs> this. Like a, I would have just took that bitch off. City. Like, where do I put it? On the seat. Fold it up, just sit it on your lap. Yeah, I was like, I'll, I'll fucking lose it. So I just put it on underneath like my Nike hoodie. And I just went and bought a Larry Nance jersey. But How much it, you spent I mean, on it? Cool, it was expensive. Like 200 it, like probably. 140? No, it was like 140. Yeah. So you bought your own ticket. No, not a course I ticket. <laughs> yeah. Not a course I ticket, though. Yeah. You can't get a course. That year, basically. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. That it was, year, it might have been 140 for course My buddy that wore, he wore his Baker Mayfield jersey and the... Uh, the person at Will Call told us, like, hey, you know, if anybody sits courtside with a Baker jersey on, they announce you to the stadium or to the arena as Baker Mayfield. They sit put up on the thing, and we were like, oh, we don't believe you. Like, no middle way. of the fourth quarter, <laughs> the camera pops up, and my dude Mike is going, it's over. It's <laughs> over. Fucking, it says, welcome to the Q Baker Mayfield. <laughs> that's hilarious. Screen. It was crazy. That's yeah. dope, though. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, fire cool. yeah, that's a fire cool. story. Yeah, that's a fire story. Hey, shout out to Larry Nance. He's real as fuck I that, have one bro. question about your story, though. Your Apex game, did you guys win? We came second. Okay, so you think if let's we say we got second, let's say Larry carried Loki. Let's he say was when, sweet. You, when you played, <laughs> he carried, bro. Let's say you got like eliminated. He's always on that first, game. Eliminated right. within the first five to ten minutes. You think he's giving you that ticket? Nope. Because no. they no, wouldn't. They, they wouldn't have talked. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't have had time. So like, good thing you guys played for good. the whole game. But like hey. Larry carried, bro. He had like fucking fourteen kills. Being good at video games sometimes does. It was pay crazy. Off. Hey, but, um, Joe Mixon's crazy at Madden. He plays my dude Tyler all the time. He's beating the shit out of I him. I just watched Jerome Ford play Rainbow Six Siege randomly on TikTok. It was AJ was Dillon nice. be playing farming simulator, yeah, bro. Hey, bro. 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah. What about Austin Eckler, though? He's addicted to video games, too. Well, he needs yeah. to do better. But it was, I mean, it was super Like, what are the odds? Like, I know people get into, like, a 2K park lobby with, you right. know, oh, you might see a dude with the NBA. J.R. Smith and, and like, yeah, all stuff those like that. dudes. But, like, to actually get in a game where, like, and he told us, he's like, hey, I was just playing one game before I uh, – Switched over, they were playing Fortnite, but yeah. none of his boys were on. He said Marquise, Chris, and all them, they were all on Fortnite, but they weren't on yet, so he just jumped into Apex. Just game. queuing into a random game. And playing and actually, so the game, it was the Raptors. That's who they were playing was the Raptors, I remember now, because I wanted to go see them play the Raptors, and then... It was you just wanted to Mar wear that jersey. Marquise, Chris, <laughs> and Serge Ibaka got into it, and Serge Ibaka choked them out. That I remember that, yeah. That would have been on my lap, like, pretty much oh, where I, I was forgot sitting. That would have been, like, bro. right where I was sitting. Hey, he would have broke your fucking legs, bro. You yeah. skinny as hell. Serge yeah. Ibaka, big as shit. <laughs> you yeah. might be in a wheelchair right now. But it, was, it was cool, too, because I'm, I think, obviously, I'm a Michigan fan. Um, I think it was DJ Wilson's rookie year, and he played for the Bucks. So I got to, like, see him play, too. So that was kind of cool. It was. It sucked that Giannis didn't play, but. Right. Hey, we're going to have many more stories like this, you know, since, uh, you know, a couple many million. More. couple. Uh, many, many, many more. All right. A couple million views, you know. Might be meeting some celebrities here soon. Uh, shout out to Ninja for not giving us credit for seeing our video. Um, okay. <laughs> Victor Cruz. Yeah, shout out to Victor Cruz. Uh, and, uh, Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew. Greg Jennings. Rashad, Greg Jennings, Jennings. Like Rashad, Rashad Jennings. Rashad Jennings. We always got to shout him out. He always shows love. Who else Jeremy is on Stevens. There? UFC fighter. He's old. He's going to retire. Jeremy uh, Stevens. Oh, Papa Roach's front they'll, man. They'll know who that is. Um, 
Paul 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 He's yeah, just been yeah. in the game, like Nate, like the Diaz brothers, basically. Yeah, okay. he's been there for. Well, yeah. we're here to say, guys. Shout out to that Playboy Bunny. <laughs> we're a big deal. Nope, not shout out Playboy shout Bunny. Out Playboy Bunny. Nope. <laughs> we all love her. Nope. Um, all okay, of us. guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Barbershop. <laughs> thank you. Come Great. again. <laughs> all right. See you guys later. Jeez. Bye. <laughs>